Nicole Smith and Steve Keim from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. Today we're going to feature several plays from our MS I-33 book. I-33 is the oldest manuscript known to exist, ranging from circa 1275 to 1305. It's also one of the most difficult to interpret as the text in the manuscript is frequently vague and brief. In fact, there are several pages where there's no text at all. This led me to believe that the manuscript was either incomplete, meaning most of it was lost to the rigors of time, or... It was never really intended as a complete system on its own, but rather a supplement to a pre-existing training regimen. There's no way to know for sure, but it's still a fun book to dive into for some neat things to do with a sword and buckler. Let's get to it. The first play we're going to examine is intended to defeat Ward Number 1, or Under the Arm. I'm going to begin with my sword in ward number three, or buckler side shoulder with my buckler extended. My opponent can either cut in a rising fashion or move to a thrust from this position. Either way, my response will be the same. As her sword moves, I step out to the left and I come down with my sword binding her weapon. This is going to need to be aggressive and it will need to be timed well. Once contact is made, I bring my buckler forward enveloping my opponent's weapons, and I can either turn the true edge up and cut to her face, or I can bring the tip down to thrust and end the match. Next, we're going to examine the counter to this play. I will begin this time in ward number one, or under the arm, and my opponent will begin in ward number three. As I move to threaten my opponent, I get bound by my opponent's downward strike. Now, my counter is, feeling the pressure, I step forward with a shield knock of my own, bringing my sword tip back to end the match with my own thrust. Next, we're going to examine crutch again. This time, it's going to be a bit flashier though. My opponent will begin in ward number one, as will I. As the thrust comes online, I cut down into crutch, keeping my opponent's weapon safe from harm of myself. After I have defended properly, I don't want to remain here. My buckler is going to come forward aggressively, and at the same time, I'm going to wrap my sword around hers, bringing the tip up and controlling her sword completely. This next play, I'm going to be defending in crutch on my left. My opponent will begin in ward number six. As the thrust comes in, I move her blade to the side with my crutch guard, and I take my buckler. I wrap it around her weapons. As I do so, I bring my sword back to a position where I can counter thrust. As you can see, I am fully in control of both of my opponent's implements. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Without you, this wouldn't be possible. If you enjoy the content that we produce and want to join one of our live online classes, please click the link below. And remember, if you don't put in the training, you won't get the result.